I've got a story to tell and I think it's really gonna help you if you've come to a roadblock in negotiation at the moment. A client has approached me and have asked me to come in, sit with them and break down exactly where this negotiation is going. They've been in this negotiation with this client for two years now and they've hit this roadblock and they do not know what to do. So I've come in and we've literally broken down every part of it. Now, although this has been going on for two years, this is a renewal from a contract that somebody signed five years ago. They've now left the company. It seemed like they didn't really care what was in that contract, because right now, it is definitely not a win-win for both sides. You should definitely try and help the client as much as possible, but you need to make sure it's in favor of you guys as well, because at the end of the day, you need to be doing work that's actually gonna get you up and want to achieve. So we've looked at this contract and we've looked at the person they're dealing with. Unfortunately, the person they're dealing with is the most obnoxious person you're ever gonna meet in your life. They're so ego-driven, it's someone that you literally cannot wait to get off the phone because you've had enough of speaking with them. But unfortunately with this, if you go into that room or into that phone call and your objective is to prove that person wrong, you're never gonna get anywhere with it. So we've broken the personality of that person down and we've understood that this person loves to talk, he loves to ramble on. But the problem is, these guys who have come in to help, they're there to prove that person wrong. Everything he says, no, that's not right. No, that's not right. No, that's not right. Now, I'm not saying that you should just lay down and be submissive and just let this person walk all over you, but sometimes their win, the client's win, is that they just wanna talk. They just wanna ramble on for 20, 30 minutes, get that out of the way. If you're going to call them out on something, don't say to them, that's wrong. Ask them more about it. Ask them, I don't understand, can you explain what you mean? and then let them justify what it is. Remember, you're leading them into controlling the situation. But what we're in now, we had this roadblock, because every time we went into a meeting, we were trying to prove this person wrong. Now, all of a sudden, the conversation started up again, and there's some flow going, and if there were 10 problems before, we're now down to the final two, and this is pretty much gonna get secured in the next week or so. So we've come from a deal that started five years ago. They got completely screwed over. They've been negotiating a new deal the last two years. And now, because we've sat down and broken the whole situation and understood it's not just the contract, it's the person you're dealing with, the personality of them, who they are, what they want from this, what drives them, what are their motives. So please, when you're dealing with people and you've come to a stumbling block, don't just look at the numbers, look at that person and see if you're butting heads because of your personality. And if you're gonna let them win, it doesn't need to be on the money or the monetary side. It could be that they win that little argument. It could be that you let them talk first. These little things, let them have it because you'll win the day because you've got the contract and you're doing the business that you want to. Now, you're probably going through these challenges. If you'd love to jump on a call with me, I'm happy to be that listening ear because I'm pretty good at taking information in, understanding it, and putting it in a way where you might not be thinking of because I'm looking at it from the outside. So let's have that chat. But that's it for today. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow.